Too sure. You do whatever you need to do. You, your job is necessary. So go ahead. Ready. So let's say this is your signal, and eventually you get a bump like that, and then let's say this is at 10 milliamp, and then you go to 11, 12, stays the same, and then when you get to 15, that bumps becomes more. Mm -hmm. It grows. Whenever it grows. Then you have a signal. But why do you get that bump, that persistence? You go back to eight, that bump goes away. But you go to 10, that stays there, but stays there until 15, 17. Mm -hmm. Now, um, regularly, you know, we say that it, uh, if you have anything below eight, you look at it, anything below right. six, you have contact. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, above eight, usually you're OK. Yeah, eight to 10. Uh, yeah. And then, but. Obviously, with the MIS, mm -hmm. the level is higher because some of the energy dissipates. Like for MIS, 15 mm. is a good Let's get more number. tissue to go through. Yes, and as well, energy dissipates because the tower has contact. Mm -hmm. But you see that phenomenon no matter what, at higher level, but then you see a bump that doesn't grow. So this is the predicate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have a small little vein going inside of pedicle, and then you have your jamshidi. A vein, a vessel, has electrolyte inside, act like a wire. So it's like but shunting. the diameter, yeah, shunting. It has a diameter, that diameter can just carry so much energy. Mm -hmm. So you get the energy, and here's the nerve root. But then when you go higher, the capacity of this to carry electricity doesn't really grow. Right. Okay, so that little bump is coming from the, from the vein. Conductivity of the vessel yeah, that's there now. Don't you put a bigger screw in, mm -hmm. it push the tissue and cut off that thing. That's why you get signal at 15 with the Jamshidi, where it conducts through that vein, but when you put the big screw in and push the tissue out, okay. then you, you practice the bone material push out, mm -hmm. completely closes the path, and you don't get any signal. Okay. And, and that happens as well the reason because if you have direct contact to the nerve, if you have direct contact, you get a signal almost at one and two, mm -hmm. direct contact. One and two, but then it grows. Every milliamp, it grows mm -hmm. to a point that then all the fibers are activated, then you don't grow anymore. Yeah. Okay, but initial growth says you have a contact. If you get that, and but you don't grow, meaning that that contact is limited by something between that has limits that tra tra you know, transfer of the energy. And that something is usually either a small little fracture in the bone or breach, small mm -hmm. breach, a holder, or this vein or vessel that it limits that. But then bigger screw closes them both, and then the signal goes away. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you.